There we go. Welcome. I'm wearing a suit because in this one, I'm a professional and it's cold here and it looks better than wearing a jumper. So um, I'm going to set up the healing energy first and then I'll explain what it's for. So I'll just feel into that. Um, essentially, and if you're watching this in the future, don't worry, this will work. Well, anyway, the intent of this healing video, um, what I'm going to try and do is erase what just happened with the eclipse a few days ago and then just go back in time and erase all the other planetary problems that have caused um, a lot of problems. I didn't really get hit hard by the eclipse, and I'll, I'll go into that in a moment. Um, but December hit me very hard and hit a lot of people very hard. So I'll talk about that in a moment. So healing energy to go um, overall healing. One thing these planetary just things that the planetary shifts that happen do is they tend to cause a lot of negative thoughts and they put in implants that loop negative programs. So I'm going to erase those. So let's go healing energy. Oh, I also found out... Uh, Client, let me know. Apparently, when I turned up for me, I also turned it up for the entire video. I thought I was just doing it for me. So, um, if I say I'm turning it up, then I'm turning it up for you as well, even if I just mentioned that I'm turning it up for me. So, I'll turn that up now. So, this will heal the planetary damage, uh, the damage from the eclipse that's been done to your energy, and it will heal your, but it will basically erase the implants that I found that came in. Um, from the Eclipse and came in from previous ones as well. That's good. That's going on. So first off, let's talk about the Eclipse. I tend to ignore all of this astrology stuff altogether, just com completely ignore it. Um, but I am very energy sensitive and I often get, um, it used to be really bad where like two to three weeks before it would happen, I'd get really bad insomnia and have no idea why. And then two to three weeks after, I'd I find a video, oh, this is what happened. All right, my insomnia should go away now. And then two to three weeks after, I just love insomnia. And then it, then it would go away. Um, this one didn't hit me hard. Fortunately, I'm now at a stage where it, it really didn't hit me. But this was a, a straight up blood moon. And if you played any video games, you know that a blood moon is bad. That's not, it's never a good sign um, in a video game when we just get a whole lot more monsters that night. However, um, in this video game, it's pretty much the same. So on uh, a few days after the eclipse, I could feel the energy, but it wasn't really affecting me. Um, the way these energies work is they normally come out and just blanket the entire planet. And if you're shielded, you think, okay, well, good, it won't hit me. No, mo most likely, um, if you're shielded and your shield is at a level of strength that it can both perceive and block the um, eclipse energy, terrific, mine was. However, you still have... Trauma points, which is another video on its own, and implants that they've placed in you ahead of time. So instead of coming in through the shield, it comes in through your body. Um, on the night of the eclipse, I went out and I had a look at the moon um, a few, about an hour before it went bright blood red. And I immediately felt odd, and just an odd sensation here in the back. And I thought, oh, is this affecting my left eye? And I thought, no, it's behind my left eye. And then I had a look and I had just a giant clump of <laughs> metal implants there. And then I pulled those out and erased them. And then I could look at the moon and I wasn't feeling any uh, weird things there. Um, and then I was curious what was actually going on at the moon. So I remote viewed there and this eclipse energy, what it seemed to be doing was it was going down, hitting everybody, m making them pretty much suffer and then taking their energy straight, just mainly up to the moon, but all over the place. And entities were really using it. So in front of the moon, I could see this giant blue spaghetti portal with just alien ship after alien ship going in. Um, probably, there were a lot of alien ships, hundreds of thousands. Um, and I'd say what they were doing is they were using this eclipse and all this energy to open a portal outside of the matrix to bring in more alien entities inside. Because um, <laughs> at the rate you know, at the rate we're going, more and more people are just going to get fed off the world. Um, well, not my world, but a lot of the world is in a lot of suffering and panic. So I can understand why they're all coming in to get a feeding frenzy. Now, it wasn't just, and if you're curious, if I did anything there, I destroyed a few alien ships and then thought there's hundreds of thousands. I'm just going to work on my own implants. This is not a good use of my time. Um, so I was then curious what else was happening on Earth. So I had a look around and I could just see entities pretty much basking in all of this blood red energy. Um, there wasn't, once I could see the energy coming out of me, I 
there were a few inputs I'd do my body. Left eye was a big one. Once that was erased, it, not, none of my energy was getting stolen from me, fortunately. Um, but I was seeing werewolf entities and everything just basking it. Um, I asked my, my energy to show me anything that you know, would be cool to look at. And I ended up at this, what looked like an old abandoned hospital. And in there, there were like black, sh black shadowy, like very furry um, humanoid type creatures. And there is a type of entity race called an entity, well, a type of entity race variant called an entity shaman. An entity shaman will, it's basically similar to a human shaman, they have energetic powers. And what I could see this entity shaman doing is, it was in a hallway of this abandoned corridor. There were about 20 of them and one wearing a bone mask. You can often tell an entity shaman apart from the others because it will just wear a bone mask that normally covers from about here to here, but sometimes just over the nose. Um, but it was pulling in all this energy and then it was using this energy to create new entities, which I haven't seen. I've, I've seen entities splitting off and um, using negative energy to separate themselves, but I haven't seen them creating a brand new entity. Um, I've seen a, the Agent Smith type entities and where they grab an entity and convert it. Um, AI entities do that a lot, but I hadn't seen just a straight up brand new one made. So I'd say the night of the eclipse, and most likely now is that energy is still there, I, that portal is still there. The world got a whole lot more entities. Um, I didn't really have much of a problem with the actual eclipse energy, uh, but I know that in, in the past, I certainly would have. I remember back in 2019, I ended up getting insomnia for like three weeks, and then I watched YouTube video and said, oh, guys, the the uh, planetary bullshit thing has just ended. Terrific. And, you know, now every, everything got back to normal. And then it took another three weeks <laughs> for my energy to, to fix up because um, I was very energy sensitive and simply not strong enough to shield myself or I didn't even know how, to prevent that energy. So my energy right now, um, it's going in, it should be gold. I'm erasing your implants in your left left brain and a few other implants. Um, a lot of ones this one did is black negative thought loops, black snakes or boris type things that loop mentions a lot. Apparently there was, um, this was also a super moon, which means the moon is super, super close to earth um, and it's full. Now, I'm not an astrologist. <laughs> I'm going off what the news told me. Um, I completely ignore the supermoon. That didn't hit me, but from what I've uh, heard from a few comments, it definitely has hit a few other people. But the supermoon, I wouldn't worry about. But the eclipse, yeah, that definitely hit people. Just checking if I'm missing any points. Um, so main points I'm getting, there's a, and I've already raised these for me, that there was a blood red moon um, here. There are actually blood red moons, smaller ones everywhere, but there was a big one that it put over the heart. Um, big clump here of just pretty much metal wise um, and a blood moon over here, just a few minor blood moons. So I'm making sure to erase all of those. Now I'm going to talk about December because December, there was a planetary alignment. I do not remember what the planets were in December. Um, if someone knows right in the chat. It doesn't matter. Anyway, there was a big planetary alignment in December and that one really hit me hard and I think it hit pretty much everybody hard. And what the December one was, is it was, I think, the moon and Jupiter, maybe it was Saturn, um, aligned and it caused, just like with the eclipse, but way stronger, a lot of energy just blanketing down, hitting everybody. Um, at that point, my shield was strong enough, so I wasn't shouldn't have been getting hit, but I had massive implants in me that I didn't even know to to look for. There were also, um, and people tend to have this, they have a rip if they're targeted, most, I mean, non target people don't. They will, they will make implants of the, or replicas of the planets and put them in people's energy systems. So even if you've connected your moon cord, uh, disconnected your moon cord, disconnected all your planetary cords, you still have this planetary system in your energy system behind you that was just hitting you hard. Um, the main implants from that, and there was one really bad one, there was a giant white moon that was over the um, torso, and that had a massive problem with negative um, thought looping. I remember when it was happening, I felt really out of it the first the, a few days before, and then uh, I'm trying to remember. I, did, I don't remember exactly, exactly which day happened, but I remember I was going out. And I was doing Christmas shopping because this was a few days before Christmas, and I was so out of it that I just sat there um, and I got lunch, and I, I was thinking just nothing. And it wasn't that I was trying to think nothing. It was like, oh my god, what if, <laughs> what has happened? Why do I feel like crap? 
Um, and I knew it was a punditry thing. I was just trying to figure out how to um, stop it. But w when I came home, I had someone who was a bit annoying and now blocked. So basically sent me a hateful message. And I thought, okay, well, this person's crazy and blocked them. Um, but, and that should have been the end of it. If it wasn't this bloody planetary alignment, because then I just had this <laughs> negative thoughts, just looping, looping, looping. And it took me months. It wasn't really until about, I'm going to say seven weeks ago when I finally found the moon implant. Um, cause I was, I was in the gym and I was just, as I do, I do energy work there. I was just gradually going through my body and after December, it, it was really bad. And before then, I didn't really have much negative thought looping. And then as I gradually trained and got stronger, it was getting lower and lower and lower and just quieter and quieter and quieter. And I thought, there's got to be a way to speed this up because in December, I was pretty good. And now I'm all the way up here and I'm still only here. Why is this taking so long to fix? And the answer was because the planetary alignment um, did put in multiple implants, but the major one, which is energy will erase, was this bloody moon that was just negative thoughts, negative thoughts. And it was maybe just that, that one message that kept looping. And it was very, very odd because it really wasn't that bad. Um, and it was only because it happened during that planetary alignment. Um, but fortunately, once I found that, it was like suddenly the negative thought looping from then just really, really stopped. I'm just going to turn the healing energy up a bit so I can feel it. I'm feeling it a lot in my um, shoulders. Uh, which is good. Feel free to tell me where you're feeling it. Grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. There we go. It wasn't the moon. Jupiter and Saturn, but that definitely put in a moon implant um, during that time because I definitely did not have that beforehand and it was a very major implant. And then this will also, the ceiling energy will erase other implants for negative thought loops, uh, a few common ones. People tend to have an aura of Boris. It's basically a snake in its own tail. It's black or silver in their head and then just all throughout their body. And then there's few other much more minor implants this will erase and this energy will sort of calm your mind down and more so help with the the blasting of the you know the negative um implants and entities because once you start doing this and you begin to realize that any thought that you yourself don't consciously make is not yours and it's just a negative entity or implant that is just having a go at you it's pretty easy to um, you know, recognize what's yours and what's not. It's like my thought, I think I'll have lunch. Their thought, you know, I think I'll drive into a tree. It, it's it's really obvious, but it doesn't matter how obvious it is if it's still just happening nonstop. And it, you know, gets very annoying and very repetitive. So yeah, this will um, fix up the December. And then I'm just going to go back and look at the previous planetary ones I'm seeing something, this looks like a, a Lyran. I remember this, they talked about a Lion's Gate, Golden Gate, something like that, um, which I did look at, whenever this was, a year and a half ago, I'd say. Um, that is over here. I'm going to erase that. Overall, now I'm going to also address some um, new AG buzzword type, type things and feel free, I'm just minimizing a few pop-ups. Uh, feel free to um, ask me about any of them. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this masculine feminine energy type thing. Now, number one, I don't know, I didn't know what they were talking about until people kept asking about it, so I had a look. Essentially, right, your car, it's a vehicle. You can give it a gender, but it is a car. Energy systems, for example, nature, all right? Nature, there's no, it's not mother nature. That's like a, you're worshipping an entity if you're doing that. Um, nature itself is an energy grid. It's green. It's like your car. It is, there's no gender, okay? And in terms of this masculine and femininity, um, you know, energy that's more so a societal program than it is a biological program uh one thing i, I remember from patrice o'neill was if you're you know out at a picnic and you see a lion running towards you you don't go uh oh here comes the girl version no lions male and female they're pretty much the same um biologically they have differences but mentally they're more or less the same but with humans there is a very massive difference between you know men and women and there is a biological difference, of course, but there a lot of it is just societal programming um, that's just been, you know, pushed on us pretty much. So when people were talking, asking me, they're like, what about the masculine? What is it? Uh, sacred masculine and sacred feminine. 
I went, I don't, that sounds new agey. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. Um, so I did, I went and have a look and I said, you know, show me sacred femininity. And I just saw this giant black ball of negative energy, um, like very large, that a lot of people I think are just worshiping and then masculinity. And I said, so show masculinity. It's the same ball, all right? So these people, they're just corrupted or they're not able to see through the cloaking and they're going up and they're talking, uh, chest burning means a moon implant. I wouldn't say chest burning. No, the moon implant had a lot to do with negative thoughts more so than chest burning. Um, yeah, so I would say that these people are, are just being tricked by <laughs> this. There is no gender when it comes to energy. I mean, you know, you can say my energy is masculine, but in reality, it's just, it's just my energy. Um, all, all the energies, I don't see them having genders. In terms of the... Um, another thing i'm going to talk about is ascension symptoms so with ascension symptoms right i used to think i had them um everybody does until you, you realize what's going on so the idea of ascension symptoms is oh your body's in complete pain and you have no energy but don't worry it's because we're ascending and you just have to get through this time and then you'll be okay right just put up with it for another month and then we'll all ascend i remember i knew um one woman who was very very corrupted and um i was getting targeted by entities quite badly and it got to the point where my body was so insanely fatigued energy fatigue not muscle fatigue and i went to go to the gym and i could not do anything it was i was hitting walls immediately and i messaged her and i said what is this and she said oh it's it's ascension symptoms the aliens are doing um you know investigating this and you have deep muscle bru bruising now that wasn't true as i was at the gym i thought okay well, that doesn't sound right um, I looked at my energy body and could just see damage everywhere. And I had to pretty much sit down like the chest press, energetically fix my chest, and then I could do it. <laughs> it was very annoying. There is no such thing as ascension symptoms. This is basically a mask that entities use in order to basically make us not, not get furious and start training um, in order to, you know, stop them harming us but that's basically a certain symptoms is entity targeting and they just put a nice you know word over it um we're not ascending okay we're all, we're on earth there's not going to be well there could be a rapture but nobody's leaving okay we're all going to be stuck here um uh, until we die and then exit at least that's that's what i see potentially happening right now so ascension symptoms they're just nonsense they don't exist uh, those were my main points. It took me 20, 20 minutes to get through them. If anybody else has a um, any questions or any new agey buzzwords, feel free to let me know. I'm just going to check um, that my energy healing is, and I'll turn up a bit. Yeah, it's working very well. What I see now, I'm not using the God Bubble technique. I'm using, um, and I didn't for the last one either. Um, I'm just using, so my soul energy here, it's very purple and gold, and I'm using that and sending that out as healing energy. And then I see it going on. I'm just check, checking people goes on top of the head and then it works its way down gradually. Please explain waterfall technique. When going over arm is very unclear in video. That it's it's not I don't think it's very unclear. The water goes up and down your arms. Um just like that. It, it's pretty really straightforward and I mentioned in the video uh, where I got it from. I'm seeing from the eclipse, I'm just checking other people, um, some implants that I'm making sure this energy erases. Looks like it put on some kind of blood red, like pit helmet um, on people. So I'm, I'm erasing that. Yeah. I've <laughs> I'm seeing a lot more implants from, from the Eclipse now than I thought there were because I didn't have very many entry points for them to get in. So it didn't really hit me hard. Um, I'll talk about, I'll talk about karma now, why not? So with karma, um, the way I see karma is that it is a belief system. It's something that you opt into. If karma was real or like really, really real, <laughs> You'd have a lot of people who would, you know, do something absolutely heinous and then just get struck by lightning. It is a belief system. Um, 
one thing a few people have mentioned to me in emails is that they believed that they, you know, they've had a pretty awful life. And the reason that they justified it is that they must have been like a complete mass murderer, just a complete psychopath, you know, a banker in their past life. Um, in order to, and I think that helped them justify why they've been targeted so bad. But in reality, the people who are the complete psychopaths, and then they keep being complete psychopaths, like people with just, you could say, evil souls, pretty much, they're just born evil. They don't really get targeted. They normally get assisted from these entities um, more, more so than targeted. So if you're getting really targeted, you most likely were not a serial killer in your past life. You're most likely a good person, and you've been a good person all throughout, and you've just been heavily targeted, you know, every single time um, throughout your lives. It's not your fault whatsoever. You, you know, you're not serving a punishment. You're not a criminal, right? This isn't hell, and we've all been sent here because we were bad guys, um, and now we have to, you know, just accept your punishment without any kind of kickback. It's, I mean, it's very good. The concept that, and I used to believe that as well, like, um, I think my mum mainly put it in my head because I'd have all these problems that you'd be like, oh, you must have been someone awful in your past life or, you know, did you get cursed? Uh, <laughs> she, she just put these negative things in my head rather than, oh, yeah, I guess you're just getting targeted. Of course, my, my mum didn't know anything about energy whatsoever. Um, but that's basically what mainstream people think. It's like, okay, if they're having all these problems, perhaps they, <laughs> you know, grew up a school bus or something in a past life. Um, but that's... Not really it. So you don't need to, if you're getting targeted, don't feel bad for yourself. You don't need to beat yourself up. And even if you, let's say in, in my past life, like I was Genghis Khan or someone who just went out of his way to conquer the entire planet. I'm there. Your crimes should not really carry over, all right? The, for example, let's say your dad is a, a slave trader, right? He's And you're, say, 10. And he he's run a really good slave trade. He's got a lot of slaves. And then one day, the, um, I was going to say the UN, but they're pretty incompetent. Just say that the US Navy SEALs, right? They come in, they arrest your dad, they arrest your whole family, and they arrest you. Now you're 10. Now your dad was a slave trader. You didn't know much about it, except you, you did have some slaves. But are his sins your sins? And the answer is no. I do not believe the sins of the father carry over to the sins of the, the son. It's simply not fair. You were 10 years old. You Now, had you grown up and you were, you know, 25 and he'd offered you a slave trade job, um, even then you have the question of, well, did you have any other alternatives that you could have done, an alternative path? Were, were you just like kicking these slaves, you know, just an absolute, or were you still a decent person? Because if you were still a decent person, you just ended up in that career, the fault is certainly not, the majority of the fault would not be on you. Um, so what I'm saying is, the, and I've looked at my own past lives. I haven't really had any where I was, you know, Genghis Khan. I've just gone around raping everybody. I've normally just had a pretty shitty go of it um, and then died. I've, I've had a few that were decent, but quite a few of them I got executed and other things. And mo most of us have as well. You don't end up getting targeted by entities if you were a bad person because they're going to go, all right, let's back this guy up. Let's make sure that he just wreaks as much havoc as he possibly can. You know, and that very much benefits them because you're now causing suffering in the rest of the world. So they'll back that guy up, but they're not going to then be like, all right, this guy was pure evil. Let's just make him so ill that he can't do anything. No, they'd very much give you, you know, a large push if you were, if you were pure evil. Um, the, the fortunate thing um, that I will say is, so I used to be, I used to think that I used to at least have that thought in my head um, and think that, but if you do start energy training and, you know, use these healing videos and you make an effort to truly make a change, you can get out of just all these problems that you have from being targeted. And my, I'll, I'll probably make a video later on and just list off like the, the bloody million health problems I had. I had all of them. Um, nothing super major. I didn't get cancer, fortunately, but asthma, acid reflux, just, just a, a list of just very annoying chronic things that just kept kept happening um but you you can change it like i don't have asthma now i don't have reflux i've a lot of things i've just gradually improved and improved and just worked my way through them and you can do that too you know you don't you don't really get the option at least i never really even considered it of giving up this isn't a situation where you can really 
give up. It's like, okay, so you're just going to be incredibly ill. You probably won't die. You'll feel like you are. But no, you'll live till you're, you know, 70, 80, and then you'll die, and then you'll come right back. Instead, let's say, let's say you're watching this, you're 22, 23, you're keeping 15, right? You're really bad. If you train like, a lot, in a year even, the difference you can make in your overall health is huge. And then by two years, majority of your problems, vast majority of them will be they're pretty much fixed up. Um, that being said, if you do have, you know, terminal cancer or anything like that, probably, probably won't be able to fix that. But, you know, asthma, things like that, just things that are, if you have like really bad digestion, really bad bowels, those things you can fix up. Um, even when I first started with the waterfall technique, I'd only been training, I'd say uh, four or five months. And I met someone who had the flu and I immediately just felt this fluey energy in, in my throat. Um, and I did the waterfall technique and just in, in intuitively was like, okay, how do I fix this? And I channeled the water into my throat and I had to go up and down and just through my throat. And I felt the soreness um, you know, of the flu basically alleviate. And I haven't been sick, um, anything non-energy related, but I wouldn't really consider that being sick. I haven't been sick since I started energy training back in, 20, um, back in 2018. So... You know, so long if you do 15 to 20 minutes a day for, let's say, four months, you will be able to make sure that you don't get sick. Um, I mean, it depends on your starting point, your energetic potential. But th that alone makes the, you know, 10 minutes you spent over four months, uh, you know, 10 minutes a night over four months, just very worthwhile. Um, I think time I can really think I got to see um, my energy like myself, I did get sick and um, breathing um, quite a lot. And that just, without even doing energy stuff, that helped fix it a lot. The other night coming out of green, uh, coming out of dream state, I saw these green matrix numbers scrolling past. Okay, so what that is, is we have some, in this world, there's something called, I believe it's called the fade, um, F-A-D-E, the fade. Essentially, when you wake up, you're not fully back in the third dimension. So you often see things that um, you could now the stronger that your perception and your yeah, your energetic perception pretty much is, the more you will be able to um, see in the fade. So let's say um, when you're awake, if you can see, it's just talk levels, all right? You can see level four, but then in the fade, you go up to level so you can see level seven. So the first time I saw the code, I was... Um, asleep and I got attacked by a dream invading entity. He invaded my dream. I, I don't even remember. It wasn't really that traumatic. Um, or, anyway, he invaded my dream. And at this point, what I do is if a dream invading entity invaded my dream, the way I killed entities then, which was less efficient, is I pretty much grabbed a hold of their energy and then pulled them inside of me. And then once they were inside, I fought them inside of me and energetically, I erased them. So I woke up and this guy invaded me and then he went to, I saw my leaving i'm like no 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 you get back i'm i'm, I'm erasing you um and all i could see was this fire i was seeing fire everywhere and i was seeing I don't believe it was green i believe i was seeing this blue code just streaming no yeah blue code bits of red code just streaming everywhere and there was fire and i was just seeing ones and zeros that was the first time um i saw the code layer i can now see the code layer at will um it is just the 12th dimension of the matrix so if you just again it's just a question of your energetic perception levels and as you train them you'll just say you know show me the 12th dimension show me the code layer and you'll see everything in code i can see it in code right now um could even do some healing <laughs> on the code i could do a healing video for that um but that's why you would have seen the uh you know the code as you're waking up i'll often have it where so let's say my perception level was at like keep it simple let's say my perception level was 20 and then i wake i wake up and i'm at like 25 and i um I think two nights ago, I woke up and I saw this very, very large blue reptilian with wings and he had a large rainbow type crystal, yeah, just a large rainbow ball and he was streaming in like 30 negative energy things into, uh, negative energy uh, sources into me from just different entity realms. And I woke up and um, often when I'm asleep, my body does a lot of energy work anyway, so he probably would have just been erased from being there. But I woke up and I raced him and... Um, once he erased and erased his ball and then erased the energy from me. Um, but, and and now um, that I know what to look for, I can look for that on others and myself and see that. But 
having the fade basically put me like one step up and it allowed me to more easily see. And then after he got erased, I was seeing these um, Grim Reaper type entities. They're very common, just skeletons wearing like black tattered robes who had, um, I've been seeing a lot of it. I've been removing from the, me, these for me lately, these energetic keys. They just look like fantasy keys. And each one has a texture of the entity race that it belongs to. So I have um, basically, I've been pulling these keys out and then I was able to see these guys of, it's called the key master, right? They're these, uh, they're these, they're these grim reaper type entities that have a whole lot of keys around them. And as you erase them, a lot of the keys um, that were new were put there by them. So the keys um, have a lot less resistance as you're pulling them out. I went off topic there, but anyway, yes, that is the fade. What does it mean if I have no dreams? If you have no dreams, um, and that's not uncommon. I mean, some nights I just go to sleep and I wake up. It's, it's. Um, could, there could be a few things. It could be number one um, that you're just you don't have a good dream recollection memory. If your energy is weak, you're less likely to remember dreams, or if they're just not important, you're a lot less likely to retain them. Um, it could also be that, especially if you're waking up, like you go to sleep and you wake up and your whole body hurts. Um, you could have either been abducted and yet yeah, you're not going to have any dreams there. You'll just they'll block out that whole memory. Or it could be that you were sleeping and negative entities attacked you um, in, in the dream state. And then they went, all right, we don't want you remembering. So they block that off. And if you're not energetically strong enough to unblock it, but that's most likely not what's happening. Most likely you just don't have enough energetic strength to bring back the memories of the dream into your waking state is what I'd say. Do you have any um, suggestions for body rejuvenation and how to heal steam burns? Healing steam burns will take a while, but body regeneration, um, it's similar. Well, I'd say physical restoration, it, it is quite possible. Um, it, I, I could do it to an extent, but you're better off when you first start working on, say, your energy body and your crystalline body, things like that, as they energetically reflect into the physical body. Now, when just working with the physical body, what you do is um, you'd, and I had a problem with this because it was really blocked off me, but I can do it now. You'd remote view and you'd say just the third dimension, nothing else, right? You can call this X-ray vision and you'll just see the body and you can filter in your like organs, muscle system. And then you'd go through and just, for example, if I was gonna work on somebody with really bad nerves, I'd just say nerves. Well, number one, I check any energetic stuff first to make sure that's gone as that's more of a problem than physical damage. Physical damage, once you've erased any entities stopping things from healing, physical damage normally heals up on its own unless it's really serious. Um, but after I've erased the entities, I can look at the physical damage and just see, let's say the nerves look very bruised and inflamed. Um, and I would just use my energy with the intention to heal them and it would gradually lessen the, um, yeah, the, the bruising would go down and the inflammation would go down and the body would very much begin to uh, heal itself after that. If you're seeing something in your mind's eye, uh, not in front of me, is it still a vision? Um, yes, yes. For example, when I see entities, most of the time I don't see them with my physical eyes. If it's dark, I, I do see them physically. That's very annoying. But for the most part, I see entities um, just in my mind. When I'm working on someone else, I can see them physically. If it... If I'm seeing stuff physically, they're probably in trouble. But most of the time, um, I go into their energy and I'm just seeing everything in my mind um, instead of physically. I'm feeling the energy, uh, the healing energy, by the way, a lot here. Like my cheeks are tingling, which is very nice. Um, and then up, upper torso, pretty much. I, I'm just feeling it going into my legs now. I'm just going to make sure that can get it into the whole body on um, anybody who's watching. Do you have any more questions? Um, you come up with another topic as well. Oh, by the way, I put up an implant erasure video this morning. Um, I th that I'd, I'd recommend if, if you're you know, going through the other ones, do that one. It was a bit of odd filming it. I woke up and it was very cloudy and I went, oh, it's cloudy. Okay. Um, in terms of, so in terms of filming, you don't want to go out and film when the sun's like, really high up because you get really bad shadows. So you, I either wait, wait till sunset. By sunset, I'm normally, I've energy trained all day, so I'm not really wanting to go out and film. I'm not normally all there, um, like like really switched on. So I went out and I drove to the beach. 
not a single cloud in the sky was there. So I ended up having to climb up like a whole bunch of rocks and then stand underneath a cliff that went over so I could uh, have some shade and you could actually see me and it would look good rather than just seeing me in giant shadow over my face or giant shadow down half my face. Um, if anyone has questions about the implant erasure video, uh, feel free to ask those as well. I will definitely, um, uh, I'm, whatever I get time, I will make a few videos. I'm definitely going to make a video on chakra removal, um, why I removed mine, why it's a good idea, and how to remove them properly. And then I'll probably um, do one on a few other major implants as well. Are you able to heal or remove neurological issues? Um, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say that I can remove autism. That's a bit beyond me at the moment. Um, so I wouldn't say that, I mean, I, I can energetically work on brains and things like that, but autism is a pretty major thing and it's a per, it's pretty much a personality trait. Um, so I'd say that no, I, at this moment, I definitely cannot fix that. Um, are you one of some issues to do to childhood jabs? It, there very much could be, um, with jabs in general, it's often, I'll just say there's often some extra shit in there that probably shouldn't be in there. That, that's what I've seen energetically when, um, especially the current one, which I'm, I think I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, a massive red cloud blocks off the vision when you were remote viewing. Is that red code blocking you from seeing? Uh, that could be red code. It could also be just satanic energy or other negative energies that are blocking it off. I'll talk about the uh, the jab. So with the jab, um, what I've seen with the, the current jab for the, the current illness that is the, you know, the talk of the town, right? What I see is happening um, when I remote view to people who've had it is in there, there are these um, heavy metals that look like razor blades with blue chips on them, like blue circles. Um, and these blue chips are programming them. So they take the jab and then you, you've probably seen this where people have been able to stick magnets onto them. Um, what that is, is these heavy metals are there and then before they disperse the body, you, you can put a magnet on your body. Um, and then these heavy metals go through and they're programmed to target certain areas. So they target the left frontal lobe of the brain uh, on the front, as well as the back, which is the spot for memory. They target the throat, quite a bit the heart, especially the ventricles around the heart. Uh, and by target, I mean these physical metals just dig in and just damage the, the body. They also target the stomach, uh, the kidneys, and then the sexual organs um, for women, it's the women ovaries, for, for men, it's the, uh, <laughs> the thing they have there. And it also targets the hands and feet. Now these heavy metals, they also, this blue chip seems to emit this, um, like a negative frequency. It's a radiation. Basically they're turning people into cell towers, as far as I can tell. Um, now this varies very much between person to person. Some people, it's, it's really not that bad. And others, it really just, hits them hard. Um, and the volume of heavy metals, just on based on sheer luck and where you're getting it, um, does change. But these heavy metals, yeah, they radiate your body, which I'd say over a while would do quite a bit of damage. But more importantly, um, a human adult, right, we can handle standing next to a cell tower. I mean, I'm very energy sensitive, so I probably feel very ill. And anybody who's not completely ungrounded would feel ill standing next to a cell tower. Um, but Things like small animals, you know, if you've got a parrot, a hamster, small dogs, small cats, kittens, that's really bad because now they're standing next to a cell tower and they end up with this blue EMF um, energy just all throughout their body, which does do them damage. And I've seen that on a few animals now. Um, as well as heavy metals, there are also some odd gray looking chemicals that look great to me that damage the brain matter in the face, uh, in the face, the brain matter in the brain, or mainly on the left side, then there's also chemicals that damage the nerves in the uh, face as well as the muscles um, in the face uh, and the sinuses. The heavy metals also block up sinuses and the chemicals do damage there. Um, then there are also blood stimulants and blood thinners in there. So uh, fortunately, I, I can fix this up. It is, well, it's not easy, but it is fixable. Um, I, these heavy metals are not very large and uh, I can erase physical things to an extent. Uh, you know, like I couldn't have probably erased this tissue box. It's a bit big. Um, not that I've, I don't really want to erase my tissue box either. Um, but those things, I can go through the body and fix them up um, and then energetically restore the, the nerves and muscles.
but that's what I see happening. Turn on carrot browsing. What the heck? Cancel. Okay, I'm still live streaming. Good. Uh, you know, I thought the um, the place I filmed it was quite pretty, but if you can't show the video, I'm like, <laughs> it's on slope. So I had to um, position myself in a way that it looked like I was standing up straight. Uh, does anybody else have any other topics? So I'm just going. Well, I'm just checking. Um, it's hitting in particular. Some negative implants. This looks like it came in three, four years ago with some astrology thing. Um, I don't really follow astrology in terms of the. I'm an Aries, um, which is the ram. Pretty sure that's the ram. Um, that stuff, you know, normally does sound accurate, but the planetary shifts and stuff like that. That's all very much negative. I would, I wouldn't say there's a positive aspect. Um, I mean, the way the New Age people justify. This, it's like, oh, guys, we're getting hit really hard with this eclipse, but don't worry, because it's actually upgrading us, and it's making us stronger, and it's worthwhile. But then afterwards, you don't feel better. You feel like shit. You, you feel like you were never really the same until you you know, have that crap removed from your body. Um, that's what I normally see. Your opinion on wearing silver jewelry and what metal is good? I just realized I wouldn't even have my necklace on. Well, um, silver jewelry is pretty good you can energetically charge um silver and gold really well they can hold a lot of energy most things can it's just a matter of um basically when you charge something and i mentioned this in class seven you so let's say you've got uh just a silver necklace right you fill it up fill it up fill it up and then when it's full you condense the energy you increase the quality and it gets smaller and then you just keep doing that as it gets larger and then condense the energy um to increase the quality um but yeah silver jewelry is pretty good um, really, any jewelry is, is pretty good. Um, I mean, stay away from like crystal skulls, stay away from Egyptian stuff. I've had quite a few clients who've had like Egyptian um, necklaces and Egyptian things. This doesn't really go well with my <laughs> But I've had quite a few clients with Egyptian um, things. That's not, that's only bad. Uh, same with the Hindu stuff. Pretty much any of the mainstream religious stuff. Um, now, by, by that, I mean... Um, so let's just say, let's take crosses, for example, right? I've got a cross here. Now I've energetically rewritten the matrix coding. When I had this, what it did was it connected itself um, to the corrupted Christian energy, which, which the, will come as a problem with now. So you had white energy and you had black energy. So when, when you probably did anything or try to use it, you either got white, false white light entities, Arcturians, Pleiadians, angels, or you got negatives. You got reptilians, Baphomet, just, you know... <laughs> Um, moon men, <laughs> just you know, negative entities. So what I did was I went in and I rewrote. I could see the coding on there, and I erased the coding that said it connected to there, and I connected it with this gold positive energy, which I mentioned before, which I consider God energy. So now it's positive, and I the chain has the same energy. So when I look at this energy, it's just bright gold and positive. Um, so even if you have, let's say you have like a six hundred dollar crystal skull, and you're like, shit, should I should I throw this out? No, you don't have to throw it out. You can rewrite the matrix coding on there so if for example you're just showing me a crystal skull i go in i'd break off the connection to the crystal skull realm because that's negative and then i'd connect it to nature or something positive um for example my neighbors they got this large buddha um on like a totem pole in their backyard and immediately i was like oh come on neighbors really why um it, there was a lot of false light energy on there, um, as, as Buddhas are. Buddhas are false light energy, they're negative. So I, when they first got it, I just erased negative energy and took away its energy. Um, but now what I've done is I've rewritten the matrix coding on there. So it doesn't connect to Buddha energy, even though it's, it's straight up a Buddha. It connects to nature energy, and it's much more, it's like, well, much more. It wasn't hard before, but it's much more positive now. Um, the reason they got that is my entire neighborhood is pretty cursed. I fixed up, I fixed up my place, and I, I did fix up the. Um, and this would be a topic for another video when I go into in detail, but or I could even do it later in this one. Um, but I basically erased a negative portal that was bringing in a whole lot of stuff here, and everything was cursed. And my neighbors evidently moved in and went, "Hang on, this place is incredibly cursed." Um, and then, yeah, their place was very cursed. And they, when they first showed up, they put a dream catcher over a tree in the backyard. That's if your if your place is cursed, that's not going to help. Um, and then they, you know, a few months later, got this Buddha statue, which 
The false white light energy was hitting the negative energy just because it wants to feed off them instead of the negative things. So I can see it helping a little bit, but in general, it's it's not really helping. It, it's probably helping now that it's connected to nature. Um, but probably, I mean, it's definitely helping. It's cleared up. Mostly their backyard. Um, the house is pretty damn cursed. Uh, but, you know, that's that's their house. That's not mine. <laughs> so I'll, I'll leave that um, for now. I'll just answer some questions. What was I even talking about? Oh, yes. Um, energetic uh, jewelry. Yeah, um, I have pretty much bracelets are really good. I've got amethyst um, on one end. The one I really recommend is black tourmaline. Uh, this one is black tourmaline with volcanic ash. That's uh, really helpful. Um, I had the problem, as I mentioned before, of negative thoughts. I don't really now. I'm pretty much past it. But it used to be um, just non nonstop when I was working on clients on myself. If I didn't do an energy work, it was quiet. But then I started clearing and erasing FTs, and they got really loud, and they were really mad. Um, but I picked this up in the shop, and I put it on, and I just heard screaming. And I thought, all right, I'm buying it. I'm buying this one. I still need to make that video um, of where I'm buying my crystals. Um, should probably do that. I'll put that on my to-do list. But our uh, black tourmaline one is really good. Um, other than that, that, that's really the only bracelet you need. Like it's really helpful. Um, and then th my necklace is Azerite and Chrysocolla. This is for creativity. This is really good, but you don't need any of these things. They're nice to have, and you can play around with their energy and use them and things like that. But you don't need them. But yeah, black tourmaline um, in a bracelet is really good. I like bracelets in particular because you can sleep with them on. Because um, when I'm awake, you know, I'm fitting myself. But when I'm asleep, that's when stuff is more likely to target me. So this bracelet has helped with that quite a bit. Um, and I do like the bracelet because I'm not going to like, I've got black tourmaline here, but I'm not going to walk around just holding a rock or like, you know, keep walking around with this in my pocket. It's not going <laughs> to... It's not something I really want to do. Um, so you can just put a bracelet on. It's always got skin to skin contact. And with, so with crystals, you do not need this giant monolithic thing in the back, in the background. I'm, I may get one in the future, just to have like a nice thing in the background, but you do not need one. The quality of the crystal is more important than the quantity. Now, what do I mean by that? So this bracelet, right? As I mentioned before, when charging, I charge it with my energy, charge, 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 smaller, smaller, smaller. So right now each bead and has got like a whole lot of gold energy I can see purple and gold code in there. And I can also see the black tourmaline energy that I've used and connected to and enhanced and then enhanced and enhanced. So I haven't hit a limit on this yet. If I do hit a limit, I'll let you know. But for the time being, it's just, you know, more energy, more energy, condense it, condense it, condense it. So you don't need something large, like a small bracelet like this. It's pretty great. Oh, this one's also Azerite and Christ Cola. It's the same as my necklace. No, wait, no, it's just Azerite. I think it's just Azerite. Um, Anyway, that's my take on jewelry. Yeah, I hope you. I hope someday you can come up with alternative ways to heal yourselves and protect without visualization. It's, I mean, visualization is pretty key because um, I'd say, well, you could try and feel the energy, but if you can't, let's say, visualize the waterfall technique, you then can't learn what feeling energies are like. So you'd have to try and learn to sense it another way, which would be rather difficult. Um, but yeah, no, it's in the future, I might be able to come up with uh, with a way like that. What about wooden beads or bracelets? Yeah, wooden beads or bracelets are pretty good, so long as it's, like, the wood's not angry. Uh, it was, well, you know, if it's from a negative tree or a corrupted um, nature tree, that should be pretty good, and then you just strengthen that nature connection. I don't have any wood bracelets, so I wouldn't know. Can you talk about cleaning crystals? After the eclipses, there any need to clear them? Um, yeah, yeah, there very much is a need to clear them. Um, basically... With the eclipse, as I said, it just came down and blanketed everybody with energy. And it would have also uh, blanketed your crystals. I don't, I don't think I need to charge any of my crystals because I have them pretty well protected and very charged. So the, their energy was stronger than the eclipse energy. So there's no problem there. Um, but in order to clear them, if, if you're brand new, just put them in the sun, leave them there. Um, and then you know, if you're a bit more advanced, remote view into them, make the intention to see the eclipse energy. You'll just see this, you'll probably see a blood red moon in them. They probably implanted them or, or a blood, yeah, blood red moon. And it'll be an entity realm. Just erase that and then charge it with your own energy. And your crystal should be pretty good to go. I haven't had to fix up any mind from the eclipse, but um, especially if you left them out. <laughs> like, oh yeah, moon energy. No, no, that's bad. You, um, 
probably did some damage there. So, um, to say, if you're watching this, can you hit the like button, by the way? I like, I don't know, I like having likes, I guess. <laughs> so, um, have you heard of the Healy or AO, AO scanner? Uh, these devices that work with you energy and heal with frequencies. No, I haven't heard about them. Did you cover the Eclipse? Yes, that, that was a very start. How often should we charge crystals? Um, well, you can charge them as often as you want, really. Like, once you charge them, they pretty much stay charged unless you're... So let's say you're not living in a super cursed area, right? You're living in a pretty good area. You'll only really need to charge your crystals once, you know, initially. And then you, over time, as you get stronger, you will get stronger, you can you'll see that the energy, you know, is much smaller now because you can, you know, it seems weaker than your energy. So then you'll charge it again in, say, a month. Um, but you really don't have to charge them once unless you're actively getting attacked, in which case clear and charge them when you feel you should, more so than any specific time. Yeah, a lot of people charge their crystals with them. <laughs> I'd say, so I think a lot of these, um, like, and a, a client asked me, what did I think about alchemy? Not a client, um, a YouTube comment asked me, what did I think about alchemy uh, a few days ago? So in terms of this charging with the moon and all that, what people have done is they, and I've mentioned channeling before, they channeled the Pleiadians or the Reptilians or something stupid, uh, or, or the Egyptian gods, Hindu gods, whoever. And they said, all right, how should I charge my crystals? And they said, yes, put them in the moon. And you go, oh, oh okay, well, you know, this, this entity is far wiser and far more intelligent than I could ever hope to be. So you go ahead and you put them in the moon and they're probably just getting worse, not better. The moon energy, and once you're aware of the moon, um, I've, I've had a few people mention this, when you look at it, you feel like it's right there. <laughs> like you can feel it's trying to like suck, you know, suck and steal your energy from you. Yeah, no, I don't, well, I'm pretty good at charging, so I don't even really put my crystals in the sun. I just clear and charge them. And it doesn't have to be crystals. I mean, you can clear and charge most things. Um, for example, what do I do around? Um, my water bottle. Okay, this is copper, so uh, that makes sense. But my water bottle, I could clear, I, I have actually clear and charge it. Um, but let's say, for example, your hairbrush, right? So you've got your hairbrush. You, you can clear and charge your hairbrush. You, I've cleared and charged my bed. Uh, my bed did have entity realms and things like that in there. Um, they often target beds. So if you're trying to sleep and your bed's shaking, it can be an external entity, but it can also just be entity realms inside the bed that are uh, getting you through it. So, you know, clearing and charging your bed is very important. Um, clearing and charging... I'm trying to think what else is... <laughs> your bed's pretty much number one. Clear and charge your bed. That's important. Um, and then, you know, my chair. My chair's been cleared and charged. Um, my lamp it's pretty good uh my panda by the way uh, a few people have mentioned that apparently pandas have some kind of uh thing to do with um like it's a symbol for pedophilia what, what? i mean i and then once i read that i went oh yeah they, that, that is true i've heard about that years ago um but what am i just not allowed to have a panda now because people have said that i'm keeping this panda forever like i've had this panda since i was 16. <laughs> it's actually an ipod speaker i don't have an ipod um, but it's just a nice decoration to have. So the panda's staying uh, forever now, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it with me when I move. He's just going <laughs> to be a fixture there, all right? I'll have a giant crystal thing in the background as a nice decoration and then a panda on top of it. Um, is copper water bottles really the best to clean energy? I wouldn't worry too much about it. I mean, I mainly just drink out of like a glass cup, um, but it's pretty good. It definitely, I, the, the water tastes sweeter in there, um, but that'll... I mean, mine probably works more than other people's because I have cleared and charged it with my own energy. So if I were to hold it up and you were to feel into the energy of it, right, you'd see that there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of copper energy that I've brought in, but there's also a lot of purple and gold energy in here, um, which makes the water taste much sweeter than, you know, it does if I just drink it out of glass. Just try not to drink out of plastic because um, drinking out of plastic cups and bottles you get microplastics in your body and those aren't good you're pretty much if you're like oh no i've been doing that my whole life you're okay it, it the damage builds up over years um so so long as you stop now and make a change your body will eventually filter those out but try to avoid plastics um but in general i wouldn't stress over needing to have a copper cup you don't need one um does clearing with sage work does clearing crystals with sage work 
Um, or depends where you buy the sage. If you buy the sage from a super new agent shop, that sage is cursed. Um, so no. But if you buy it and then you clear and charge it or you buy it from somewhere good, then yes, you can use sage to clear your crystals and it will work just fine. So yeah, sage would work. I haven't used sage. Um, I actually have a sage bottle. I had a problem with entity attacks, but my, most of them were internal than external. So it didn't help me much. Um, but sage, it does work. However, it, it only works. So let's say like, let's just talk levels, right? Let's say you've got a level 200 reptilian that's attacking you with sage. Sage kills everything that's under like level 30. So this level 200 reptilian, it's really, it's, it'll annoy it, but it's not going to act, it's not going to get rid of it. Um, but it can be useful if you've just got a whole lot of low level things in your house that are just very annoying. How do you clear and charge your furniture? Um, class seven, it's, it's all there. You remote view into your furniture uh, or just feel into the energy and then just follow the techniques. Teddy bear supposedly are a pedo symbol. Are they? I'm not getting rid of my teddy bear either. <laughs> That's that's a very odd symbol. I mean, like a unicorn, I could see being a symbol, but a teddy bear—that's that, a bit odd. Um, what about bamboo? Yeah, bamboo is probably pretty safe. I I don't know. I, I can I'll feel into it now. Actually, bamboo. Um, well, if you're getting it like from China, no, that's cursed. But if you get it and then clear and charge it, you should be pretty good. Um, and a bamboo cup should work well. So you're just supposed to break up residual energy and make it more difficult for dark entities. It does. Um, for, let's say you have like your house is just blanketed with low level negative energy, all right? You don't walk in there and just feel cold and terrified. It's low level. Then yes, using sage would get rid of that. But if you walk in and it's just intense cold and you feel like your your heart's like pop, 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 and your mind's like run, 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 sage isn't got much difference. much of a difference. If it's small things, then it definitely will. Sage, essential oil, I, I don't know anything about essential oils. Um, I'd say it's, it's pretty pot. Again, it's useful as long as you make sure you're buying it from somewhere that isn't already cursed or they're like, who I charged your, your sage bottle with Reiki. You're like, gee, thanks. <laughs> Let me undo that now. Um, and again, you do have to do that. So you'd have to go in and erase the Reiki symbols and then charge it with your own energy and then use the sage. Otherwise, you're just making your house worse. You're just bringing in a whole bunch of Hindu god entities if they've charged the sage that you're using with Reiki. I'm feeling quite a bit lighter on my upper back. That's good. Um, I've been using, I use my, my own healing videos, by the way. I, I like if I'm feeling a bit down or I just want to relax, I'll just open six tabs. And the last one, I've seen myself like brush my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing I will say in the last one, I said, all right, I'll do this one in a week or two. And then I didn't. And then the reason for that is I should probably stop doing that is because um, energetically, I'm like, I, I kind of feel like, okay, now is a good time to do it. Like after this eclipse, now is a very good time to do it. But that, that point, I'm like, it would be better for me to just spend this day energetically training myself and like working my way through it. Um, I'm also pretty like mentally switched on. In the last one you saw that I was like, I couldn't even remember the topic of what I was speaking about. And that's not normally me. Um, but with entity targeting, you do often have like, they lower your intelligence quite a bit. And then as you clear, you get more and more intelligent and you get more intelligent than you were before they even targeted you. So I consider myself pretty intelligent now. Uh, this isn't bragging. This is simply as you energy train, and it's one reason to energy train, your intelligence will noticeably go up now there will be days when you get hit up hard by entities and it dips down and you're like oh what is this spoon but hopefully not getting that bad but in general your intelligence does go up with it so you know it's a question of all right am i in a good space mentally to do this am i in a good space energetically to do it and with each healing video i'm energetically training all the time just having leaps and bounds it's like now my energy is way stronger than it was then so it's like each one it's like just a new <laughs> it's a lot stronger at least from my perspective um, and how I feel my own energy. It's always a pretty large leap. Um, but I will try and do one at the first of first weekend of every month. I'll count this one as that one. Um, but I was going to do this one now anyway, because I wanted to fix up the eclipse from people before. Basically, the more this eclipse energy stays on you um, and all these entry points they've put in you, the more damage you would have accumulated because they would have just let's say like, this blood moon that i've now raised from everybody who's made it this far 
it would have been bringing energy and bringing energy and then it would have got the negative thought loops and problems would have got bigger and bigger and bigger and then two months from now you're just getting caked in this eclipse energy all because you know you didn't um know to clear it and you, you know you had no idea how to one thing i will say um when i did see that entity as i mentioned earlier in the video creating entities basically through negative energy that's that's one thing with negative entities even if let's say like and Last year in particular, or I think it was through 19 actually, I went and hunted a lot of the entities who picked on me as a teenager, like done damage to me. Um, and, and even in my early 20s, I, I went and hunted them down. But you don't feel like, hooray, it's like you just killed a computer player. Like it's a video game and they're just monsters. You don't feel like, and if, if you, you know, grab them and, you know, cage them up or anything, they're not really conscious you're not going to have a conversation with them and they're going to be like oh i i've seen the error of my ways no these things are the physical incarnation of evil there's they're not going to tell you anything if you are trying to ask why they did anything you'll just get gibberish answers that are completely inconsistent it's just a waste of time um and it, it does make sense so you don't really feel like i feel i'm like good now they won't ever target me or anyone else again but you don't feel like you've really truly got revenge because these things are just they're acting out of instinct they're just pure evil video game monsters there's no soul there you're not you know really making a huge like it's not as if he's going to realize the error of his ways it's you know just something that it's part of the game and you've just now just erased you know a bad monster from the game pretty much they seem like an ai i wouldn't say they're ai because AI entities are their own like race where they're all metal and robots and stuff like that. So I wouldn't say AI, but I would say that they're NPCs. They're not players. They're just evil monsters here to make up the game with no free will, no, well, no, no real will in mean, hundreds of years. And they've just gotten stronger and stronger and stronger, which also shows, and I can erase them, that with evil, and I'll mention this later on in another video when I talk about um, combat in more detail, it takes a long time for these entities to get energetically strong. So, you know, let's say an entity has been feeding on people for 2,000 years and then just erase it in like 10 minutes. Um, that's like, it took 2,000 years to get this strong and I've been training for a few years. Um, did something create them? Um, as I mentioned in the start, you know, they, the shamanic entities can create other entities. Entities use negative energy to create other entities. You know, it's just like, a fantasy movie like they're creating minions right they're, that's just what they do they just use negative energy create negative minions and they will go and feed off people um you know pretty much we're living in a video game essentially um and these things they're just video game monsters so i don't even really hold it against entities that really you know did awful things to me because one even as I'm erasing them, like they'll just try different gimmicks. Some of them will cry and scream. Some of them will like transform into a baby and other things and thinking you won't be like, oh no, I can't do that. No, get out of here. Um, some of them will like swear at you, curse you, or like, you know, say they're cursing you, things like that. But in, in general, they're not, they're just programs, right? They're just going off um, consciously. Oh, one thing I was going to mention um, with the moon. Yeah, that did bring in a lot of negative programs. So the moon I've erased through this video is, uh, I'd say, a program implant. So instead of a negative implant that is just, you know, causing energetic problems, this one is more so programmed to do specific things. So, um, and this energy, healing energy, I didn't say this out loud, but it will help with your negative programs that are just like looping negative things. So if you're, you know, let's say you thought, oh, I'm not good enough, and then for the next 10 years you've just heard i'm not good enough in your head it's because you it's not it's not your fault you said it once and these entities took that negative energy cages up and pop, 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 just kept looping it in your head so uh speaking of evil can you please look into hitler's life path and karma um it i'll say look look into world war ii properly um that, that's all i'll say on that um part of, of of that there there were certainly way more evil people than um than hitler at that time period that's for sure 
Last time a friend suggested doing a unicorn activation. Do not, do not do that. No, that's a terrible idea. A unicorn activation. <laughs> yes. This is like um, back when I was looking at light language. They're like, oh, light language dragon activation. You're like, oh, cool. And then now I'm like, no, no way. That's You're just getting pumped with dragon entities. That's bad. So if you did a unicorn activation, in general, um, unicorns, I'm, I'm just feeling, are these real entities or are these just things masquerading? They look like real entities. So I'm raising them. So, um, but I, I'd say they're just false white light negative entities and you would have just downloaded yourself full of unicorn entities and energy and that would not have helped you. That would have done you a more, quite a bit of damage and you would have had to clear yourself from it. So definitely any, any kind of activation that's not either nature, personal energy, yeah, just those two. Stay clear from. Don't do a drag activation. Don't do a don't do a light body activation. Um, don't don't do a light ship activation. Don't don't do any Galactic Federation bullshit. Don't do those. That you're just pumping yourselves full of entities. It's not good. You know you wouldn't do a reptilian activation. Or at least I hope not. You're pretty or a snake activation, which is Kundalini, um, or a satanic activation, which people do. Don't don't do any of these <laughs> activations. That's um yeah. That's very much. Not something you'd, you know, I'd advise. Steer clear from that. Um, oh, in terms of the light body, by the way, this is another thing people ask me. Like, what about the light body? I don't know. I didn't know what the heck a light body is. What is and then I, I looked and I'm like, okay, what is a light body? Basically, what the light body is, is it seems to be kind of an implanted body. That's basically, if they believe in light body, just like karma. If you believe in karma, you get all these karma implants in, in you and, and you do have karma. You do. Um, but it's only the negative things. If you do something nice, Nice things, for the most part, unless they're trying to build trust with you, don't happen. Uh, it's just negative things. So come and, it's just implants and programs. Um, but with... Oop, what was I going with that? I was talking about karma. Someone told me what I was talking about. Um, I was talking about false... White light. Do that thought. I suddenly lost my train of thought. Are implants? Oh, yeah, that's right. Light body. The light body. Yeah, the light body. It doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. If you believe in it, then these entities will be like, "Oh, this guy believes in it," and then they'll put it on you, and you'll be like, "Oh, they're activating my light body." No, there's no such thing as a light body. Humans have. We have a physical body, third dimension. Energy body, fourth to twelfth. We have a crystalline body, which is also fourth to twelfth. And then we might have a few other bodies, but we do not have a light body. That is not a thing. It, well, it is a thing. If you believe in it, it's an imp, but it's a negative thing. It's something that you opt in for that does you damage. It's not something that I recommend you, you know, use. Is it a good idea to create your own energetic servitors? Servitors. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. If you mean, is it a good idea to create your own energetic thought forms, then... Yes, it well, it, it can be. It, de it depends. It's just something fun to have. Like in my tourmaline bracelet, I've got a penguin in here who has a uh, hat on, um, and it just basically takes the tourmaline energy and my energy and manifests it into, a, 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 you know, an animal. Um, I recommend with thought forms, and I'll do a video on this um, in more depth. Keep them as animals. Don't make them people. Right? Don't be like, oh, they should have free will. No. Okay, it's an animal. It's a pet. It, it's not very intelligent. It's, it's, it's intelligent enough. It's intelligent as a penguin, maybe a bit more, but you don't want to make them, you don't want to make them too smart. Um, now, this is not a torpor. Tor a torpor is where you are starting to be pretty much a part of your brain as a thought form. That's that's not a good idea. With thought forms, put them in crystals. You can, you know, keep them in your overall energy. Um, but having a crystal makes it easier because you have a core for it. And you can more easily find them. Um are implants put on physical... Oh, wait, no, I already answered that. Implants are put on the energy body and the crystalline body and the soul and our overall energy. They, they put them everywhere. And there are physical implants, but they're pretty rare. You only really get them like, from the jab. Like, those heavy metals would be physical um, implants or from alien abductions. Um, so I got mine. That's so how most people got... It. Well, not most people. People who I've seen with abductions can have physical implants, but most people do not have, and I can erase them. So they're not that big an issue. Um, what is the importance of the crystalline body? It's just another body that you have. It, it helps with energetic resistance. It's something that they do target and damage, but having the crystalline body stronger 
um, just helps you with your energetic resistance overall. It's good, I'm feeling my neck loosening up. Ah, oh, really loosening up, good. Uh, what is your opinion on high pitch noise in ears and how to get rid of it? Um, I think I'm, I mentioned that in, in, in another live stream. Um, basically, it's implants that are doing it. Like, for example, when I was doing the Eclipse one, um, erasing the implants behind my left eye, I could hear like beep, like this, this beep noise that was just, you know, nonstop. And as I erased those, it got quieter and quieter and quieter before it pretty much stopped. So it's normally just, um, how many layers do we have? I rephrase that. It's good. I'll go for a few more minutes. Um, this has been a pretty good um, healing video. And I feel like I've answered quite a few pretty good topics. By the way, I put my hand up. It's just like, a f uh, it's just something I do in intuitively. It shows that I am healing. And, um, but I don't have to do it. Like this energy isn't coming from my hand. It's coming from maybe my chest, but my whole body um, overall. And it's just going out. I'm just going to raise the impact pretty much everybody. It's like this metal core with a bit going up the top. Oh, I'll just mention this um, now. I've I mentioned this in the first one. You may, um, when you... Some of these healing videos, um, and you can't really overdo them. You may, and this this will not just do negative thoughts. It'll work on you overall, but the focus is the negative thoughts and negative programs. Um, but it will help you overall. Um, you may have pain flare up. That's all pretty common. One thing I just got now, which I don't think I mentioned, is you may feel pulsing in your body. So, for example, I just got it in my lower right stomach, and that's because um, most likely there was uh, looks like an implant was there, and it was basically getting erased by the healing energy so it started acting up but um can you still get anything from the replay yes that's it that's how these work they're they're healing videos it wouldn't be very good if they only worked in you know if you shop at the time they're live they um are encoded and it's pretty much the exact same as as when it's live um the healing energy is encoded into them and you can also stack them up so you can, you know, put on two taps and it will really work. Um, I've had quite a few people tell me they've slept with them on and it helps a lot with sleeping. Um, I don't think if I slept with mine on, I don't think I've slept with my healing videos on. Um, but I, again, it's my energy. I'm, I'm pretty good at defending myself. Um, but you can sleep with them on. That does help if you're getting a lot of attacks at night. It does help lower the severity of it quite a bit and um, you know, helps clear you from the entities and implants and stuff they put in you during that. Let's go. Do we have any more questions? I'll probably do one more topic. Um, I was just going to mention that's right. So basically, if you you've got like a, a negative you know, a necklace, like, you know, let's say an arc of life type thing, right? And it's like made of gold and it costs you <laughs> quite a bit. And you're like, oh, should I throw this out? Is this cursed? The answer is yes, it is cursed. However, you, you, you know, we'll have to make the decision of, should I, you know, get rid of this or should I just put it away for a year or two? And then when I'm stronger, I can rewrite the coding or you can just have me do it. Um, but, you know, for you, you can rewrite the coding and then connect it to something positive um and, and you can do it that way um so even if you've got i mean if you've got like a i was gonna say let's say like the extreme right let's say you have a giant necklace with a stone satanic pentagram on there yeah even if you rewrite the coding people i mean people still go what the, what the heck get rid of that but um in general no you should be pretty good you should be able to um uh, hopefully you're not you don't have any of those but if you've got a cross or anything on that you know feel free to wear it um even before i rewrote the matrix coding i did charge this with my own energy and it was helpful. Um, a lot of it was just my own faith, energy, and belief in it. But that does help. So people who, let's say, you know, a priest charges across and it feels warm and positive, he has charged it properly using his own energy and having faith basically in, in another power. But it's mostly using his own energy unless he's connected to the, to the positive God energy. Um, 
which he, he most likely isn't because you've got to do some energy training to get that. But using his own faith energy, they can charge objects because they believe that whatever they're doing is positive and that's the intention and therefore that can work. Yeah, I don't, um, the, the verified music, I don't use it much now just because my money is way strong and I, I don't need it. I'd rather just use my healing videos. But yeah, I, use, I used to use them quite a bit. Those um, The one problem I did have with those, you know, um, positive music is the majority of it on YouTube is just negative. It's like, it's just really bad. You put it on and you're, it's like, you know, some grand here, it's just, just like, shh, like really high in a high pitched dress. I'm like, that is not positive. This is evil. There's quite a few that are just evil. Um, probably even most of them have, if they're not evil, there's some negative intention there or there's something off about them. Uh, you know, if they mention the chakras, probably don't watch them. If they mention any Hindu gods or any Egyptian gods or anything like that, probably don't watch them. Um, in there, uh, in my Hindi videos, there is one that has sacred geometry, but the music is much stronger than the actual geometry, so it's, it's okay. Uh, the music's more important than the symbol that's, you know, on the front page. And yeah, with positive music, that's also something that you can't, you can't really overdo it, except for, I think there's one that's like 891, or I think it's 891, um, that is supposed to activate the pineal gland. That one, you can definitely overdo. Uh, I haven't looked into the music much. I'll probably have to look into it um, when I get time and make a video talking about what I see from the different herds and exactly what they're doing, because it's, I've removed my pineal gland, so what's it doing for me? Um, but I remember I used to do that, and I'd get the shh, and it would get louder and louder and louder. Um, so it was very evidently hitting the implants in my head that were causing that, and I'm, I'm past that now. I don't really have a problem with any noise in my head, but it, it did used to very much hit that. It's good. Um, go to 1 minute 20, I'd say. Um, it's like that you get non soul children. I wouldn't really go down that rabbit hole. You're just going to, yeah, that's not something worth worrying about. Um, is a council of nine the angelic evil? Um, what's the council of nine? Um, I'm trying to think of a bit of that. Um, are you talking about council of nine as in like some entity someone's channeling or is, is that something else? Um, I'd say most likely, i trying to think, um, I've heard about it before. If you're, so let's say you have, actually, I'll, I'll just like let you answer that. <laughs> what exactly do you mean by that? Oh, channeled by Magenta Pixie. Okay, well, probably. No, I, I want to send people my way. Um, most likely, the Council of Nine that she's channeling or other people are channeling is negative entities that are cloaked. So she probably has like Jesus and Buddha and a bunch of other things. And they would just be reptilians and other negative entities who are cloaked and manipulating people because that's what happens when you try entities. You think you're getting Jesus and you're getting a reptilian because um, Jesus isn't here anymore. Okay. So you're getting a reptilian instead of, you know, who you want. Um, and they'll, they'll tell you things and try and build trust. And then after a while, you're so corrupted that you're not even questioning what they're saying. So I would say that, yes, they're evil. Pretty much any channeled entities are evil. Anything that wants to take control of you, to take control of your mind or your body is evil. That's not something anything positive would ever want to do. They wouldn't want to take a part of you. Yeah, the Galactic Federation, that's evil. Pretty much anything, if you're channeling Ra, the Egyptian god, or if they're like, oh, I've just channeled the, the Pleiadian circle of, of light, right? No, that's they, they might have channeled the Pleiadian circle of light, but the Pleiadian circle of light is evil, right? They're not, they're not, they don't have your best interest at heart. They're out to get you. <laughs> They're not going to benefit you. What happened to Jesus? He left, all right? He's not here anymore. Um, okay, he, he died and he left the Matrix. Um, I've mentioned this in Tony's uh, interview that's on his channel um, about what I believe happened there. Uh, so I won't go into it here because that's like a five-minute <laughs> piece. Um, and... It's probably enough of a topic on its own to be a major topic for a video if I talk about, um, you know, these challenges and basically major religions, what's happened in the past with them. I'll probably do a live stream talking about how, how I see them being 
established and how entities move to people and all of that, like how a lot of these old cultures, like the Aztec culture came about. Um, I'll talk about that in a future video. But yeah, so just to clarify, yes, the Council of Nine are evil. Anything you're channeling are evil. There's, there's nothing good to channel. Like I've, there are a few positive entities on Earth. I've seen, but they, the ones I've seen have been human. I've seen a few heroic spirits um, who were just people, they, they're just ghosts. But in general, um, everything's pretty negative. Um, and the reason why I don't mention that is you're like, oh, well, I'll connect to this heroic spirit. Don't, you're just going to get a reptilian whose cloak is in. Um, okay, it's, it's just focus on yourself, your own energy, nature energy, do that. How do you know you were, what? You were not a part of Matrix? I, we, we are a part of the Matrix. The 12th dimension, our body's made out of all, all code, okay? Now, our soul is not a part of the Matrix. That's come from outside. But our actual physical body, is, and the third dimension is made out of flesh and blood, but energetically, it's code. This is code, all right? Everything's code. This is code. It's positive code. I've charged it. This is code. Everything is code and works to an extent that way, uh, more so than... So we are a part of the Matrix. And when you die, um, you could, you know... Basically, you have an energy body that reflects this body, so you could just stay in that form, and it'd probably be much more convenient for you. And exit that way um but you wouldn't be limited by your physical body now that being said you should still just don't do it be like oh this body doesn't mean anything i'm gonna lose it anyway you still need to invest time in it because there's a big connection between you know your physical health your mental health and your energetic health so train your physical body just tell you what your you know your mind and your energy because they're all connected i mean when i go to the gym i'm normally just doing a whole lot of energy stuff anyway and i'm just like doing it pretty much on autopilot um and everything's code. I mean, absolutely everything you see physically in this world is code. Um, these negative entities, yes, they're code too. It's all code. Everything in here is code. And everything outside of the matrix is most likely also code because the code is just what makes up the, you know, the reality pretty much. It's all code. Um, so I wouldn't, uh, I would say you are a part of the matrix. And how can you exit the matrix? I think I mentioned this in the last video and I also mentioned it in the first video. Uh, first, I mean, the last live stream, um, my last video is the implant ratio and the first live stream as well. So I've put that information there. It's good. Okay. So you, yeah, this um, energy is going to work overall. It should continue to help with um, negative programs. The Eclipse stuff, even just once through, that should all be pretty gone. Now it's just gone back, erasing the moon, erasing other things from older, um, older planetary problems, um, things that happen there. It should work overall. So um, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Take care. Let me know in the comments how you feel, um, you know, the energy working on you, if you feel, you know, the changes in your negative thoughts like you're supposed to. And with that said, that's it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.